setting up your blocks, we're going to take one shoe length from the start line. And we're going to place our blocks down there. That will be whenever, doesn't matter what set of blocks we use, that will always be the same. From there, for our front foot that's in the blocks, we're going to measure one and three quarters of our shoe length. That's just a general rule of thumb. Then you can adjust it from there for comfort. And then for your back foot, it's going to be two and three quarters shoe lengths for your back foot. Now we determine what foot is going to be your front or back foot by uh, deciding if you're going to kick a ball as far as you can, the kicking the foot, the foot that strikes the ball, that will be your back foot in the starting blocks. All right. Uh, when our sprinter is getting into the blocks, he's going to place his fingers behind the start line and he's going to get his track spikes into the blocks. We want to get our feet pressed into the blocks because we want to project ourselves down the track and we don't want to pop up. We want to keep our head down as we're taking our first few strides out of the blocks. On the set command from the starter, you're going to raise your hips up and roll your arms forward so your shoulders are leading you over the line. You're going to hold that until you hear the gunshot. Runners to your mark. Set. 